What do you like about Hatsune Miku? Definitely the music. Hatsune Miku has a lot of skirts. And they're just... Oh! Uh, there are these pictures on my Facebook of like naked, practically naked, like anime characters. It's weirder or worse when it's a character because it feels a lot more creepy. <laughs> because it's, it's like their fantasy, but we all enjoy it too. Like, demonize female representation on the media again and just treating her as a, like, the female object of male gaze so yeah. that happens uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can do without that part because that just is weird like, she's supposed to be cute she's supposed to be cute and like uh and she's supposed to be young well, but that's mainly a cultural differences. Because I grew up in Asia, and I'm kind of used to this kind of cultural. And being cute, being sexy, being beautiful, the power of a woman is her empowerment. And as long as she's cute, she gets everything she wants. <laughs> that's like my perspective, so I don't, don't take it so seriously. I realize it's part of the genre of both anime and pop music, idol pop music. And, you know, part of me is like, yeah, it's gross. You know, like, this is a really kind of upsetting representation of what women and girls are all about. And the idea that she is sexualized is tied into a larger discourse of how weird or otaku. Um, so it's not about Miku herself, it's more about otaku you know, weeaboos or whatever. So because they have this, this idea that, oh, like, you know, all otakus like 16-year-old girls in short skirts, and this person is adored by otaku, therefore there is a creepy sexual element in it. You know, is she an empty, is her appearance like indicative of an empty sign? Is she the ultimate empty sign? Um, and does she exist only to be manipulated and consumed? Um, I think she has so many female fans that saying that that's completely male is factually not accurate. I cosplayed Rin and she wears a belly shirt. <laughs> Just sort of like, I mean, I'm not like going around and like flirting with people. I'm going around and having fun and just being me. It's just, it's all about, I guess, mean, the way that she's presented. In a sense, it's problematic because in the traditional feminist discourse, you know, like a too slim body is like a destroying the female health or something. In the case of cosplay, uh, most of them are not like very aggressive type. They are not like a leader of the classroom, but they're kind of, um, how to say, very quiet type. In general, and then, but once they find that way to express themselves by using Miku's performance, um, those female audiences kind of get the get the energy or get guts to go outside. <laughs> you know, in that sense, I'm. I think it's. The Miku's character is very empowering, although it's very extreme and then we very an idealized body. So it's very positive empowerment for me and for them. Um, I, I think it's a very, I hate to say post feminist, but you know, kind of Lady Gaga feminism of like, well, I wear what I want, I do what I want. That's what it means to be female. I don't have to constantly be worrying about being a good woman or being a bad woman or, you know, constantly worrying about catering to the male gaze because I, like, do what I want. Hulk smash.